Boom, what up, so we're connecting only here back doing some more League of Legends action, playing some Renekton in the top lane, going for a full shred build. I'll show you the build. It's gonna be Ghostblade, Black Cleaver, Edge, Last Whisper. Well, Lord Dominic's Resolve. Uh, actually, probably the one with the heal cut. I forget what the hell it's called. Yeah, gonna start W and see if we can not get hit by Cleaver. Sweet. Off to a good start. Uh, try and build up Fury and look for a W. How the fuck did that land, bro? He's definitely gonna hit this one. I W'd into bone plating, it's not ideal. Keep peppering him with autos if he walks up in a dumb way. Which he did. Level 2 all in incoming. I wanna build up Fury for it, so I have uh, Empowered W. Empowered W. He's not gonna walk up though. He presses E from all the way back there. I don't. That doesn't do anything. Should be a really good build to shred armor. We have E for armor shred, and then we also have, you know, all the things that I just listed. We're going to have a bunch of lethality. We have a sudden impact as well. That'll give us some more. He's just sitting too far back. I really can't all in him here. Miss Mundo. I don't know why you keep pressing that button, buddy. It doesn't do what you think it does. Q is the cleaver. Oh, is he trying to do the QE thing? My man probably macroed that shit. It's like a QE thing that you can do that like gets you an extra auto or some shit. He probably made a macro. Because he literally keeps pressing it every time he Qs. Strange. I think Fog did a video on it. I don't exactly know what it is. It was like a Reddit post, but couldn't be asked to read that shit. Way too long. Um... Poke him. Try and build up Fury. Look for a W player. He walks up, he just W. Whoa, I did not. I'm just clicking over here. I have auto turned off. How the fuck do I auto that? Bruh. That's really annoying. He's lost me all my Fury. Lost me so much pressure right there. Really stupid. Can't walk up. It's under tower. Just gotta sit here. His wave shoves to me. The only thing with Mudo is he can just AFK, basically. But, okay. You're having your mid lane rotate on me? Nice play, dumbass. <laughs> what is this play? That's horrible. <laughs> okay, good gank, dude. Like, what? You're losing a whole bunch of farm in mid lane. If this guy comes top, this is a kill. 100%. I want to pop his bone plating right now. My man, you play so safe, it's unreal. I'm just gonna disengage here. He's gonna all in me. Hmm. One hit, bro. Literally 14 health. Oof. I think he's gonna TP. No, 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 no. Ah! Get the fuck. Oh my god, I hate people so much. He's going to teleport, bro. That's what this ping is for. Have a brain. He's gonna TP. You can literally kill him. He has no flash. He's gonna have to walk up in the lane to get farm. I didn't think it was that complex. And there you go. Whoa. Who could have saw that coming? Definitely not my jungler. A man thought I wanted him to shove the wave. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. I mean, that's probably my phone. I don't have team chat on. Just shoving and leaving. <sighs> I mean, obviously, at this point, I clear the wave and leave. If my jungler stays, we just kill him, but it's alright. Can't force your team to have brain cells. Just gonna grab this and reset. He's gonna probably le re oh, 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 oh. He's probably gonna reset here as well. I might just double dash and try and fight him in the bush. Hmm. Alright. I'm cool with that. I got the cannon. And I got all the range. Alright. I can shove and reset. I don't know if I want to reset, but I can definitely shove here. Because he went back and he has no teleport he used the last time. It was obvious he was going to hush and teleport. That's why I wanted my jungler to stay. Because the wave was overextended and I had like no HP. So it seems pretty safe, but it's not if jungle stays. It's alright though. Ward. 
I have full fury. I want to sit in a bush and try and make a play. Mm, I'm not going to get there in time. Did he spot me there? Curious. Oh, I don't know what this play is. He's going to shove quickly. Punish him for roaming. He's going to catch all the farmers. Not really anything. Nothing gained. Just an annoying matchup when they play this safe. Up his bone plating. Oh, I just bail immediately on that. Up ocean run. He threw it a mile behind, so if I kept running, he would have missed. Jesus. God tier player. Got his ultimate out of him, though. We want this, we want this. We want this. 100%. 100%. Uh, Olaf's more squishy. Get the finish. I'm gonna go with cannon. Oh, we're okay. Just gotta walk away. Whoa! You're a god? I did not think that was gonna work. Oof. Alright. I guess because he threw max range cleaver, so he couldn't pick it up again. I'm really surprised that worked. <laughs> this guy's roams are so bad. <laughs> Come here. Oh, I would have gotten him for you. It's alright. I'm gonna go shove wave in and then reset. Get some CDR with Warhammer. I can get a plate here. Auto W. UW doesn't actually get consumed on tower, but it's a reset. Yeah, he's going straight armor. Might be better just to switch into Black Cleaver right here. Mm. Oh, I might die. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go black cleaver. Right I do need healing cut though. Mm, maybe get healing cut here and then this. I need one more auto attack. Slightly off. What was a bad play. I mean, I took it because he already QE'd the wave and he was tanking full wave and then he has no ultimate. But he did buy and I had like 1500 gold on me. Or 1200 or whatever the fuck it was. I have ult back now, but I'll have my uh... He's gonna go here and back. One, two, ooh. Oh, I'm definitely all inning him. Yeah, he's gonna sit back max range. I shove, look to dive. He already used his ult. I really thought if I built Fury for the Empowered W at the end there, I would win. And I built the Fury for the Empowered W at the end, but I still lost. I was one auto away. Thought I'd get it off. I was wrong. I build up Fury, look for a dive. He's pretty tanky, so I don't know if I can actually pull it off. Just an annoying matchup because he sits a mile away and doesn't do anything. Just farms as a scale. Which is fine. That's probably what he's supposed to do if it's an annoying. If it's annoying, it's probably what he's supposed to do. He has teleport back. Oh, I'm just gonna dive you. Wait for Kha'Zix. Tank one more, walk away. Beautiful. So the combo there... He's not gonna be able to get to me. Hmm. Does our mid ever move? I mean, he's up 30 CS, so that's cool. What a terrible play, bro. What a terrible play. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna run up here and just steal this away real fast. He's gonna do this camp, so I have some time. 
Auto W, W counts as two hits. Cool. Probably just gonna shove one wave and then look to reset. Mm, depends what he has for items. Normally you want to go Ghost Blade first, because it's a really good snowball item, but if someone's building straight armor against you and he's just gonna rush a Sunfire plus Tabby, it's not gonna be that efficient. But I can straight up buy it. Yeah, he's got Sunfire, man. Oof. I think I do this and then I use my E. Empower E. Be like, that's okay. By the way, the trade under tower. So I walk up auto W and then I break my empower. So your W self CCs you. If it's empowered, it's a 0.75 second self CC. If it's not empowered, it's 0.5 second self CC. It means like you're stuck in the animation, right? You're doing like the three blade thing. So if you activate your ultimate while you're doing your W, you break out of that and then you cancel your ultimate animation as well. Because your ult has like a mini cast time. So you break the W animation and you break the ult animation and then you can immediately use your E. So I auto W R E. And you can actually issue an auto attack plus a Q command for fast auto as well. But not as important. Just immediately disengage that shit. Look for the all in here. Doesn't have anything left. Just some healing. Use our Q. You can look for a dive or at least force him out. Go for all in maybe. Or some tower plates. Uh, I can kill him in nine seconds. Maybe not by myself. Didn't want to take a tower shot there. Oh, what the fuck is this play, man? I don't know how our mid lane's losing. <laughs> like, this guy's been roaming the whole game. Build up Fury, look for a dive. I'm gonna hit tower. Hope he auto attacks me. He'll pull minion aggro. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. That's a tilter. He took a step back as I auto, I thought he was going to walk forward. But I pressed W and I couldn't get him still. I'm just going to shove this in. Maybe take tower. I don't think he has his teleport. I see his jungler in mid lane. I'm going to take tower here. Oh, never mind. He does have his teleport and he used it bot lane. I'm going to use mine here. It's actually really good. Because look where Cassiopeia is. Yeah, they're kind of fucked. I'm actually not going to get anything here. Oh, never mind. I didn't think I was going to get anything. I thought they were both going to rush at Cassiopeia. That was probably their best bet. When you're getting pinched on, you just want to attack the weakest side first, right? Think of like, you know, Medieval Siege or whatever. You're surrounded, but you can all go through one gate and focus your attention, focus your fire on one spot, break through, right? So they got one guy here and three guys here. Probably don't want to run at the three like Mundo did. Probably want to run at the one, even though they're both going to die no matter what. Just want to, if you do stuff like that all the time, like, sometimes it's just going to work out, right? Sometimes they're going to be able to run and kill this guy and then get out, you know? Oh man, that E was so bad. I missed three farm for that. Oof. How am I off sides? There's a minion in front of me. First tower, shove next wave. The thing with just like, honestly, if you're low elo over Necton, I wouldn't even really worry too much about wave control. I would just perma shove waves with vision control. That's a huge armor shred. You could finish it. I just don't have an ability up right now. Really? It's not enough? Bruh. He got one tick of healing off. Oh my god. And then he overstayed. Didn't expect the range of my double dash. Maybe I had mid lane coming because his jungler is in bot side. I'm gonna ward here. Nope, his jungler is in mid. I keep pressuring tower. I just want to snowball my advantage as much as possible. So we take towers, we take enemy jungle camps. Finish this tower, clear wave, reset. Yeah, 
Yeah, the Empower E Shred was really good there. I'm definitely dead. You're gonna throw the axe? You still missed it after all that. What <laughs> the fuck? I don't care. We get this. Is this guy backing? Lamau. You trying to BM, brother? I just spent 2k gold. I have a 50 something CS lead, and I just took two towers. We're getting riffed on the backside. I'll take it all day. And Karma took the kill. Karma got the shutdown gold. That was like the worst possible outcome for them. I mean, okay, outside of me like somehow escaping, but that was literally impossible. Pink wood. Have to be careful. Uh, look where this guy is on the map. I mean, I can obviously 1v1 him by myself. <laughs> All I did do is hit the thing, he can't get out. Pop it will go the same way. Alright. So my E does an empowered shred, so armor shred. Uh, reduces it by 35, uh, opponent's armor by 35%. Then we have uh, this, which can be 24% when it's stacked up. Then we have lethality here with second wind. Second wind. With uh, sudden impact, rather. Seven lethality. And then obviously this gives lethality. 18. Well, it's currently 16, but it'll be 18 soon. So, yeah. A lot of penetration. That's why my damage looked like it increased by a ton once I hit my E armor shred. I mean, power E is like really good against tanks. They're all like trying to make a play or something. I don't know. Bro, I would kill you. Be careful. I'm gonna look to rotate on mid here. Where's that flash? I guess I should have predicted which way she was gonna uh, flash out. I might have been able to do it. Uh, I'm gonna go back top. See away jungle camps as I can, so we keep a CS advantage. Uh, if he stays, I think I just kill him. I'm gonna walk at him, not use dash. Ow. Never mind. Fuck that. Oh, Jin's coming. Why are you doing this? I didn't even realize it was a weird. You gotta hit your spell, son. I'm gonna loop around. Mm, we have to play slow. Wait for our team to collapse on them. Now we can go. Oof. Stop stealing on my farm. Fuck off, guy. Sweet. Wait for the empower Q. Drop it. I want to get into a side lane now. Well, I mean, I'm in a side lane, but... Oh, okay. GG. They done for. Tap out. Expected. Yeah, it's kind of a snowball build. Like, I don't think you're gonna even get into the deep part of it very much. Just Ghost Blade, early game on Renekton. I mean, typically in a tank matchup, you, you're gonna have to get the BC earlier. That's kind of what I did here. Sat on the serrated. Actually, no, I got I did get the Ghost Blade, huh? I mean, you can do either or, but when they have like high armor value, they, you kind of need the BC. But I had enough gold for my Ghost Blade, and then I was just gonna use my Empower E Shred. You need to get the tabby early. Like, he got that shit, like, after Sunfire, which is like, meh. This guy's very upset. This guy's very mad. Is that you, Wild Turtle? Not the real one, obviously. <laughs> yeah, number one damage in the universe. Of course, of course. Pretty good. Just goes played Renekton. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Here's the runes if you want to see him. Press the attack. Again, early game burst with press the attack. Sudden impact, increasing our damage as well. Obviously, Alacrity, and then I have the double AD. 
for the uh, runes. You can take 10% attack speed in the small runes as well if you want. So that's fine. And then just Ghost Blade, giving you lethality, stacking with this, stacking with your early game pressure from PTA, Black Cleaver, follow it up. Gives you a little bit of tank stats too, 400 HP. And then you can go to Edge of Night. I like Edge third, but you can also go Dusk Blade if you want. Edge is just going to give you another defensive, a little bit of HP and another defensive, uh, what's it called? Spell Shield, which is pretty useful. You don't get engaged on as easily. And then Last Whisper to follow it up. And then you'd have Max Shred, Last Whisper, Last Whisper, Black Cleave. Well, this gets upgraded into Lord Dominic's oh, whatever. Yeah. So BC, Last Whisper for their percent shred along with your E. And then Ghost Blade Edge for the flat pen along with Sudden Impact for more flat pen. So you have like 30, 40 flat pen. And then you have a shitload of percent. 24 with this, 35 with our E, and then 35 again with this. So... And it's not multiplicative, it's additive, but still, you're basically doing true damage every time you're hitting somebody. But yeah, anyways, GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow, be alerted when I go live. You should also check out my other two channels, SRO Highlights and SRO League University. Obviously, this is the main channel, so we're only on YouTube. Three YouTube channels. Check them all out. Thanks for watching. Adios.